Anaheim, anybody who thinks Max Pacioretty doesn't care deeply about his role as captain of the Canadians has never watched him wear his heart on his sleeve during an interview. They also didn't see him in the locker room in Madison Square Garden last spring after the Canadians had been eliminated by the New York Rangers in the first round of the playoffs and the captain failed to score a single goal in the six-game series. Pacioretty was on the verge of tears that night. Pacioretty will often speak in clichés when things are going good for him and the team, deflecting praise to his linemates or coaches. But when things go bad his emotions come through. Things are going bad right now for Pacioretty and the Canadians. The team is off to a 151 start to the season and the captain has gone six games without a goal after scoring once in the season opening 32 shootout win in Buffalo. When Pacioretty doesn't score, the Canadians' chances of winning diminish. A lot. Pacioretty WASNT on the verge of tears Thursday when he spoke with the media for about 20 minutes at the Honda Center before being one of eight players to take part in an optional practice ahead of Friday's game against the Ducks 10 p.m. TSN 2, RDS, TSN Radio 690. But the captain was very open and honest. His heart was on his sleeve again. Pacioretty talked about what a tough challenge it was to be the leader and captain of a team when you're playing poorly yourself. That is the challenge, how am I going to go tell my teammates that we got to be better when I'm the worst one on the ice, said Pacioretty, who has one goal and no assists in seven games to go along with a minus three. That's what keeps you up at night, that's what keeps me up at night. Trust me, if you guys think I don't care you got it all wrong. If anything, I think too much and I care too much. I know often we don't know what goes on in each other's heads or you want to make the read as to what's going on in someone's head. But I care so much about this, I put so much time into this where right now I have to be selfish and think about my game because that's the area where I am going to help this team the most is by putting together a better game for my teammates on the ice. It's a good type of selfish that I need to have and I understand that right now through a lot of talks and through team meetings. So hopefully that can lead to better results on the ice for myself and for our team. I know when I score goals it helps the team win games, but it's a process that I have to put together to score goals and I've just really gotten away from that process and I have to reel myself back in. When asked if he honestly thinks he's the worst player on the Canadians, Pacioretty responded I don't feel I'm strong at all right now. He added I'm worried about my game personally, but numbers wise I know I help the team by scoring goals and by producing offense and I know it's not there and I take full responsibility for that every time that that's the case. But no one's going to get me out of the team out of this other than myself and ourselves, we've gotten off to great starts the last couple of years and this obviously is a terrible start. But one thing we do know is it's only seven games. Obviously, you want to get points whenever you can and cash in on them when you can. But there's still so much hockey to be played and we just hope tomorrow will be the game where we're able to put it all together and show what we can do. Pacioretty did not have a good game Wednesday night in Los Angeles with three shots and zero hits in 16-15 of ice time and a 51 loss to the Kings. He was waiting for the game to come to him instead of going after it and coach Claude Julien noted that in his post-game comments. He's just got to stick with it, he's got to stay positive and work his way out of it, Julien said about his slumping captain. And working his way out of it is probably the most important word. You can't wait and expect it's going to happen. You got to make it happen by competing hard, having the right mindset and working through it. You can criticize Pachority's performance, and he's provided plenty of reason for that so far this season. Just don't think he doesn't care, scowin at postmedia.com twitter.com stuckowen1.